पितृ जैसे ऑलरेडी कहा गया है भारतीय जनता पार्टी में दक्षिण भारत के एक वरिष्ठ नेता और विशिष्ट समय में आंध्र प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री रहे हुए श्री मल्लारी किरण कुमार रेड्डी आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी में शामिल हो रहा है मैं किरण कुमार रेड्डी जी का हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं और उनके नेतृत्व में आंध्र प्रदेश भारतीय जनता पार्टी और बलिष्ठ होंगे और ऊंचाई तक पहुंचेंगे इसे विश्वास व्यक्त करते हुए किरण कुमार रेड्डी रेड्डी जी इनका पूरा फैमिली किरण कुमार रेड्डी फैमिली फ्रॉम लास्ट सो मेनी डिकेड्स दे आर इन कांग्रेस ऑलमोस्ट थ्री जनरेशन his family and his family members they are in the congress and his father shri amarnath reddy united andhra pradesh ke char bar mla the he was a full time mla and uh, he was minister also Kiran Kumar Reddy himself, he was uh, MLA four times MLA. He was speaker. He was chief whip, and you all, all know, in a very crucial time, he was chief minister also. And. Uh, if i can tell you kiran kumar reddy is a good cricketer also yes <laughs> he has played up to ranji and uh, he opened his innings in the congress and now <laughs> after closing that innings in the congress now he has opening a new innings and i hope he will score and he will bat very well in the bharatiya janata party by joining of uh, kiran kumar reddy as i have initially itself told under the leadership of prime minister sri narendra modi when i met him few months back he was in congress party in the airport it was a accidental meet at that time itself he was telling i am so much influenced by the personality of sri narendra modi ji and not only that the fight against the corruption what sri narendra modi ji has taken over in the country from last so many years that is really exemplary and i am really very much influenced by the way of working and the anti corruption stand the fight against the corruption which is being done in the last 9 years by shri narendra modi i am really impressed this is what he had told it to me and at that time itself i had told person like you should work under the leadership of prime minister shri narendra modi so now few months back he has decided and uh, he has chosen a good day today yesterday after hanuman jayanti today he is taking a big leap and jumping into the bharatiya janata party so i once again welcome him and he will be a good strength big strength as far as our fight against corruption is going on under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi in the entire country he will be a big strength because his image as a mla as a minister as a speaker was very very clean and that's why he, it will be a big boost for bharatiya janata party 
andhra pradesh i once again welcome him and uh, uh, i hope uh, under the leadership of uh, shri kiran kumar reddy by by his joining there will be some more activities will be unfolded in the state of andhra pradesh and also telangana he he was uh, as i already said he was the chief minister for the undivided andhra pradesh and his influence is quite well in telangana also and uh, he will ex uh, he has promised that he will extensively tour and organize the party in the both districts dhanyawad pehla joshi ji mera aagre आदरणीय किरण कुमार रेड्डी जी से कि मीडिया के साथियों को संबोधित करें थैंक यू सर फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी इन टू द पार्टी आई थैंक द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द पार्टी श्री नड्डा जी एंड विल श्योरली वर्क अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ the honorable prime minister mr modi ji amit shah ji and all of your leadership <clears throat> i'll just finish my this thing in a few minutes i'll just give a small background and then i'll go it my association with congress parties started with nearly my family since 1952 nearly for 60 years plus my father was mla four times from 1962 i was mla four times and i never imagined that i'll have to leave the party my father died very young in fact the opposition party were ready to leave the seat for me if i change party i said no i will continue in the congress party <clears throat> unfortunately what has happened is state after state due to bad decisions and wrong decisions of the congress high command the party is getting damaged totally in all the states they don't interact with the people they don't take the opinions of the leaders it is not a story in one state it is a story throughout the country there is a old saying which says my king is very intelligent he doesn't think on his own he doesn't listen to anyone's advice i think you understood what i meant they want authority to control but they don't want to work hard they don't want responsibility see if we want to stitch a dress we'll have to go to a tailor to good good tailor to stitch a dress we can't ask a barber to stitch a dress because he uses the scissors so who whom they have to assign a particular job due to lack of interaction they do not know which leader the characters of the leaders or who should be assigned what jobs in a state for the party to go forward a true leader is someone who meets people who understands and assesses the problems of the state assigns the problems to eminent leaders who can deliver in the state who can do course correction if required all this is required to know everyone thoroughly unless you interact with people you don't know who is what 
See, if you take two examples, one is yesterday, I think, BJP Foundation Day, 34 years back. The first election of BJP, 1980, they won two seats, one in Andhra Pradesh, one in Gujarat. Their percentage is about 7.74% in the first election. Congress won 404 seats in 84 with 49%. Last election, when it comes to 2019, from two seats, they have come to 303 seats. Their percentage is 37.36%, BJP's percentage. That is an increase of approximately 30%. And if you take the Congress percentage, it is 19.49 or something, a decrease of 30%. See, this is not come very easily for BJP. There is a lot of hard work put into it. Anyone who loses elections or who wins elections, there should be a reality check. What are we doing? Are we doing in the correct way or are we doing in the wrong way? Suppose there is a, we become sick, we go to a doctor. What the doctor tests us, he diagnoses what the problem is and gives us medicine. If you say, I don't want to take the medicine, or I don't want to test what happens, we become more sick. The verdict of the people, they are not able to accept the verdict of the people. Who are the doctor here? The people are the doctors here. Who is the patient? The Congress party. They are neither analyzing what is the mistake, nor they are want to course correct. I am only correct. All others are wrong, including the people of India who are voting are wrong. If that is the mindset, I don't. That is the reason for me to leave the party also. And on the other hand, I told you an increase of 30 percent has not come very easily. All the tall leaders from BJP till the cadre. They have worked very hard and they are continuous working under the leadership now of the Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Modi ji, and the Honorable Amit Shah ji, the Home Minister, and Mr. Nadda ji, and all the presidents over the last 30 years, 25 years, 30 years. Their commitment towards the nation and their commitments towards development of the country that is paramount. Once you talk of BJP, you talk of uh, development of the country, na uh, national building, nation building. That, that is paramount, which is, comes to the thoughts of the youngsters and th thoughts of the everyone today. There is a clear clarity of thought in the government and in the party. And there is consistency of thought. It is not changing. The clarity of thought and the consistency of thought is not changing. Service to poor is service to nation. That, that is the motto which they are going forward. And this has not come easily. It has come with a lot of hard work, with lakhs of, and lakhs of members of the Bharati Janata Party. And the direction being given by Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah and Mr. Nadaji and all the leaders. And taking courageous decision has become a hallmark of Mr. Modi's, the Honorable Prime Minister's regime. Taking courageous decisions, seeing that they are implemented properly, course correcting them, and seeing that they reach the poor people, all the benefits reach the poor people. So the party has got a very clear vision for the country, for the youth, for the development of the youth, for the poorer sections. And the party has got the vision to spread 
to all the states and to all the villages and the hunger to succeed, the commitment to succeed, the commitment to become strong in all the country, all the states and throughout the country. In every village they want members, they want to succeed. I am really motivated, sir, the Honorable Prime Minister, we worked as CMs for some time, we used to meet in meetings. And his commitment towards anti-corruption, not only then, from then it started and till now it is going more and more corruption, uh, uh, less uh, corruption has to be reduced in the country. So under their leadership, I would like to join the party and whatever is assigned to me, I will surely work for the upliftment of the BJP. Telugu lay on a jepeda. Questions you want to ask something and then I'll go to Telugu. <laughs> ఇప్పుడు అంతా చెప్పను కొంచెం చెప్తాను ఇదంతా మళ్ళా రిపీట్ చేయాలంటే ఇది కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీలో ఒక అరవై సంవత్సరాల నుంచి మా కుటుంబం ఉన్నది మీకందరికీ తెలుసు నేను ఇది రెండోసారి రాజీనామా పెట్టేది అది మీకు చెప్పక్కర్లేదు ఒకసారి రాష్ట్రాన్ని విభజన చేసినప్పుడు మళ్ళా కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీని బలోపేతం చేస్తాము నా వంతు ఎందుకైనా మన కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ వల్లనే నేను ఎమ్మెల్యేలు గాని ఇది గాని అయినా మా కుటుంబము మేమని బలోపేతం చేస్తామనే ఉద్దేశంతోనే మళ్ళా నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు విరామం తర్వాత చేరాను బట్ అక్కడ చూస్తే ఆడ పరిస్థితి రోజు రోజుకు క్షీణిస్తా ఉంది కనీసం వాళ్ళు అర్థం చేసుకుంటే పరిస్థితిలో లేరు ఏమి జరుగుతా ఉంది ఎందుకు మనకు బీజేపీ ఒక పక్క రెండు సీట్ల నుంచి ఏడు శాతం ఏడున్నర శాతం నుంచి ముప్పై ఏడు శాతానికి పోయింది మనము నలభై తొమ్మిది శాతం నుంచి పంతొమ్మిది శాతానికి ఎందుకు వచ్చామని వాళ్ళు విశ్లేషణ చేసే పరిస్థితుల్లో లేరు ఎప్పుడు కూడా ఏదైనా పొరపాటు జరిగినప్పుడు విశ్లేషణ చేసుకొని దాన్ని ఏ విధంగా మనకు ముందరకు పోవాలి ఎక్కడ తప్పు జరిగింది తప్పును స్వీకరించి తప్పును స్వీకరించి ఈ విధంగా తప్పు జరిగింది ఈ విధంగా మెరుగు చేసుకోవచ్చు అని ఆలోచన చేస్తే మనం ముందరకు పోవచ్చు మనకు ఆరోగ్యం బాగలేకనంటే ఒక డాక్టర్ దగ్గరికి పోతాము ఆయన టెస్ట్ చేసి నీకు ఈ జబ్బు ఉంది ఈ మందు వేసుకోవాలని చెప్తాడు నేను మందు వేసుకోను అని చెప్ అని మనం చెప్తే లేకనంటే నాకు టెస్ట్లే వద్దు అని మనం చెప్తే మన ఆరోగ్యం క్షీణిస్తుంది ఇక్కడ డాక్టర్ అనేది ప్రజలు ప్రజలు ఇంత పెద్ద మ్యాండేట్ ఇస్తా ఉన్నా కూడా బిజెపి గవర్నమెంట్ కి మోడీ గారి నాయకత్వానికి అమిత్ షా గారి నాయకత్వానికి నడ్డా గారి నాయకత్వానికి స్వీకరించే పరిస్థితిలో కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ లేదు వారు ఏమి పొరపాటు జరుగుతా ఉంది ప్రజలు ఎందుకు బీజేపీకి దగ్గరకు పోతున్నారు ఎందుకు బిజెపి కావాలని కోరుతున్నారు అని విశ్లేషణ చేసే సమయం గాని సందర్భం గాని లేదు వారు వాళ్ళంతకు వారు మేమే కరెక్టు మేము చెప్పేదే రైటు అని ఆలోచన చేసే పరిస్థితి వాళ్ళల్లో ఉంది ఎప్పుడు కూడా కష్టపడి బీజేపీ ఇంత మెరుగైందంటే అది ఒక్కరోజుతో జరిగింది కాదు చాలా కష్టపడి నాయకులందరూ కూడా గత ముప్పై సంవత్సరాల నుంచి నాయకులందరూ కూడా కష్టపడి ఇప్పుడు గత పది సంవత్సరాల నుంచి మోడీ గారి నాయకత్వం యాంటీ కరప్షన్ కు వ్యతిరేకంగా ప్రజలకు దగ్గరకు పోయే విధంగా సబ్కే సాత్ సబ్కే వికాస్ అనే నినాదంతో 
ప్రజలకు నేరుగా బెనిఫిట్స్ చేరేట్గా సౌకర్యాలు చేరేట్గా ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి ఇల్లు కాని విద్యుత్ శక్తి కాని బాత్రూమ్ కాని ఇవన్నీ చేరే విధంగా స్వచ్ఛ భారత్ కాని రైతులకు నేరుగా అకౌంట్ లో డబ్బు పడేది కాని అన్ని స్కీమ్స్ కూడా చేస్తున్నారు కాబట్టి ప్రజలంతా దగ్గరయ్యారు అండ్ ఒక్కసారి ఐదు సంవత్సరాలు ప్రధానమంత్రిగా ప్రభుత్వం ఉన్న తర్వాత ఇంకా ఎక్కువ మెజారిటీ రావటం అంటే అది సులభైన పని కాదు అది వారి కష్టపడి పని తత్వం వల్లనే ఈ విధంగా జరిగింది వారికి ఆకర్షణత అయి నేను బీజేపీలో చేరుతున్నాను వారు ఏమి నాకు పని అప్పజెప్తే అది చేసేదానికి సిద్ధంగా ఉన్నాను